Good day everyone, this is my simple instructional video on how you could be able to add products on your new e-commerce WordPress site. So I hope you watch everything as I will guide you through a step-by-step -step procedure on how you could add products on your site. This is very easy and you could do this really on your own. First of all, we are here at the dashboard. This is where you will see important notifications about your site, where you could have access to different um, parts of your website and basically uh, it updates um, your activity, uh, updates about latest plugins and other important uh, notifications that you need to know and if there is an update that you need to do on your site. Now, here's the thing, if you have a WooCommerce plugin, then definitely you're selling something on your site. So the problem is how are you going to add products on your WordPress site, especially for those who are new in, th in this and who would want to learn how to do it by themselves. So here's the thing. Uh, this is a menu section of the back end of your WordPress site. So you could just go right here at the product section and check all the products. So I'll show you first how it looks like, like this one. So this will list all of the products that you have on your site. Um, so right now these are my active products and uh, this one is just a draft. So how are you going to add a product? This is very easy. Just follow through the step-by-step -step instructions that I will give you. So first click into the add new button or you could click the button right here at the menu section so there it immediately directs you to the add new product section so i'm going to use a test product to you know uh, give you a concrete view of how how the process is when you're actually adding a product on a site so let me name it a sample sample product Okay, now this is a part where you put your description, your product description, so the dimensions, uh, the product uh, the product material, and all of those important things. So you put it right here, and let me just uh, put a, a sample uh, description. This is a sample description of the product on sale. There. Now. Let's move downward right here. This is the product category section, the one you see at the right, the, where my mouse is. This uh, is very crucial in um, in organizing your site. So when you go to shops or online online shopping sites, you see that their products are often, or definitely all of them, are categorized into different um different parts so in this case this is a clothing store so uh it's categorized into men women and kids we have men's bags men's clothes women's bags women's clothes and all of those things so you just have to tick the corresponding category that applies to the product and the product will immediately be under that category so let's say this sample product is uh, under men, men's back. So I'm clicking that under product categories. In in the case where the product category is not yet existing, or you need to add a new category, just type it right here. And for example, you want to add accessories or you know things like that. But like for example, if you want it to be under a main category like this. The women's bags are under the women category, so you are going to like type in the specific category, women's accessories, and put it under the parent category, which is women. And it will automatically, let me show you, it will automatically go under the women's uh, category, the parent category. So that's it right there. And then... Um, Let's move right here uh, at the product tags. This 
the, these are basically the search terms that you would like to be associated with your product. Like for example, if the sample product that if the sample product is jewelry, then I'll just type in all the terms that I would like to be associated with this product. Like for example, jewelry, separate tags with commas if you want multiple product tags. So let's try one, jewelry, and then accessories, gems, jewels, uh, accessory. So if, and then you click, you, 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 you enter it or click add, and it will all be added to, uh, the product. So when, when people search or type in, uh, the word accessory on the search area of your homepage or of your website, this product will show up. So that's basically it. Now, um, this is a very important part of, of your, of your product, because this is where you are going to assign the pricing and the variations. For example, uh, if this is a simple product or it doesn't have any style variations or size variations or color variations, um, you just, uh, add the price right here. Let's say 50. Uh, if you want to put it on sale, you could also schedule it right here at a sale price of, let's say, if you want it half off 25 and then select the date when you want the sale to be like, for example, if you want it to be the first week of August and you just, you know, select the date right here and there. And then now you could also set the tax status to be taxable or if you want the client to pay just shipping or if there's no tax involved uh, there's also the tax class standard reduced rate and zero rate um, and then um, also if, if it's not a physical product or if it's something that's um, some like for example an ebook or something or you know something that people can download you could just you know Ticket right here. Uh, or if it's a virtual product, intangible products, and are not shipped, you can just click right here. If it's downloadable, you can click right here and add the file right here. You can also set download limits, expirations, and yeah. Next up, we have the inventory. Um, the SKU is the stock keeping unit a unique identifier for each distinct product and service that can be purchased uh, in the case of your items. If you have a certain codes that are associated with every product that you have to, to monitor your inventory easily, you could add it right here. For example, these are some of the SKU codes that I used for uh, another e-commerce site. So you could make your own and assign each product with that. If you want to enable stock management at the product level, you just click right here and you know you want to put the stocks right here okay uh, you could also allow back orders and uh, you you can also set uh what uh what will be the indicator that the stock of the product is low like for example if there are only two items left on uh, in your stock then uh, it would uh it would be uh, the product will be assigned as a low stock type of product so and you could also allow to sell the product individually or single order so yeah that's for the inventory then the shipping you could put the dimensions right here and the weight and the shipping class shipping classes are used by certain shipping methods to group similar similar products uh, this is usually applicable to uh, bigger shops uh, and you set it at the back end at the WooCommerce section at the settings part, which I will also discuss to you later on. So yeah, link products. If you want to link, um, link the product to, you know, certain items, upsells are products, which you recommend instead of the currently viewed product. So, you know, 
uh, for example, this product is a bag and you want to uh, link this to the other the other bags or the bags on sale in your in your stock or the latest release bags, you could put it right here and link this to the product. Cross sells on the other on the other hand are products which you promote in the basket based on the current product. So next we move to the attributes. Um, this is uh, technically not applicable with a simple product. Uh, I will discuss the attributes later on. So advanced action purchase note. You could add the purchase note right here. Uh, menu order. I, I don't really use this uh, much. And of course, you could enable reviews. Um, you could get uh, different extensions if you want more more variability with your product. So these are the different extensions. Now we move to the variable product. So basically what I use in, in the product section is just a simple product and the variable product. So going to the variable product, um, it's a different kind of setup uh, and we'll go through each step. So uh, the tax status uh, you could uh, set right here, which is taxable, which is for shipping only and which is not taxable. The tax class, you could also set it to standard, reduced or zero rate, depending on what your product is supposed to be. Now, in Venery, you can still assign the SKU, stock, stock keeping unit right here. If you want to manage the stock at the product level also, and you can sell it individually. It's technically almost the same as the simple product. The difference is um, you could add different variations right here. For example, if this is a t-shirt product and it has three colors, red, yellow, and blue, and it has different sizes, small, medium, large, and XL, you could add the product attributes right here. So I will just add a custom product attribute, a size, let's add a size, click use for variations. Okay, so first we add the size, click visible in the product page if you want this to be seen at the product page of the, of the site, and don't forget to click use for variations because you want to set if you want to set a different price for each size a different price for each color this is how you are going to make that happen so okay let me put the sizes right here use the this symbol right here if you can see my cursor uh this symbol can be found right under the delete the, the delete button on your keyboard so uh, I want to put in here small and then medium and then large and then XL. No need for spaces. Just use the separator to separate the items and then save attributes. Next up, we add another variation if, we, if there are different colors of the product. So just click custom product attribute. Type in here colors. Also, don't forget to click use for variations and type in the colors, like for example, red, blue, and yellow. Save it. After that, okay, now you can see, just to check, right here, it's saved. We move to the variations. Once you move to the variations, click create variations from all attributes and click go. Are you sure you want to link all the variations? This will create a new variation for each and every possible combination of variation attributes, max 50 per run. Just click OK. 12 variations added. So this is the magic. This is it right here. So you can see that all each of the color has a small size, a medium size, a large size, an XL size. And you know everything right here: small, medium, large, and XL, red, blue, yellow. Everything right here. So you could set a price for a certain size and a certain color, and you could add a photo right here 
if you want it, you know, if there's a red product right here, put it right there, assign a code for it, you could do that, manage the stock, and assign a price, you could even set a sale schedule for it, set the stock, out of stock, back order, or in stock, set the dimensions, uh, shipping class. Okay, so now now that we have all the variations, you, you just got to go through each of them and set a specific price for each. If you want a different price for each size or each color, you could do it right here. For example, uh, I've set the small size to 20 for each of the colors, the medium size is 30, the large one is 40, and the XL one is... 50 like like what I've uh, mentioned you could customize everything at this part add a specific stock keeping unit code add a sale price and schedule it manage the stock status add the dimensions the weight shipping class tax class and even add a special description for the specific item and add an image of that certain specific item that you want so so I'm saving all of these. I've saved it already. And I will publish I will publish the product. It it chose update because I've already published it a while ago, so I'm just updating it. Now let's view the product to see how it looks like. And here you go. So this is the product that we've added. The price ranges from 20 to 50, like what we have uh, placed on the back end. So the size, if I choose small and I choose the color blue, it will be 20. If I choose medium, 30, large, 40, and XL, 50, I could add the quantity right here. And I could definitely add it to my cart, add to basket. Uh, the description is right here, additional information or the attributes that be added a while ago right here, the sizes, the colors, everything, and like what we have selected at the back end, uh, they could add reviews, uh, the clients can add reviews of the product. So basically that's it. Um, everything that we set up works well and I hope you learned how to set up your products at the back end of your WordPress site. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Thank you so much.